Hey, Jared, you're anorexic. What? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Look at you. You're a little twig. No, I'll prove you wrong. And I certainly did. Having gained 20 pounds of a bully's words. My mom was right. One of my favorite things to do in kindergarten was to go down the slides, play hide and seek and tag. One of my classmates enjoyed similar activities and every day after school, we would play game, these games together. Over the course of the year, uh, we became buddies and unfortunately he transferred the next year and I was left alone. This was around the same time that the words of my classmates began haunting me. Desperate for a friend, when I heard that he would be transferring back for the second grade, I was ecstatic. The first day of school came and passed. Um, the first day of school came, and uh, the whole school met at the usual place for an assembly. I searched for my old friend and noticed that he was standing with a group of people who sent hate my way. I walked up and I said, hey, do you remember me? Yeah, I do. You're that kid who everyone keeps talking about. Get out of my face, stupid. I walked away feeling worthless. My parents and my sister, my only friends. The summer before fifth grade, I transferred to a new school. The school was relatively small in size, and it was an opportunity to make my first friends. The I, was, I was exhilarated at this chance. The first day of school came and passed, but I didn't connect with anyone. I was alone again. I remember one day in which I came home crying because it felt like no one wanted to be around me. My mother came in and she hugged me, and I told her, Mom, it feels like no one wants to be my friend. I feel so lonely. I don't want to go to school anymore. Jared, everything happens for a reason, and you may not know that reason yet, but you will eventually. And when you do, it will all make sense. You have a very kind heart. Keep your head up and stay strong. You cannot control how others act. The only thing that you can control is how you deal with it. Don't let the words get to you. And surprisingly enough, my mother was right. <laughs> I know, that's kind of weird hearing from a teenager. Uh, Everything does happen for a reason. Whatever situation you're going through right now in your life, there's a reason for it. Every person who comes into your life is there to teach us something. So I'm not saying that bullying is a good thing, because my experiences as a child were both lonely and painful. But I do believe that they taught me a great deal about myself and how to treat others. One of my purposes in life, I believe, is to make others laugh and smile. And I put myself in uncomfortable situations to do this because I don't want anyone to feel the same way I did during those years of my life. I was called anorexic, and uh, I gained 20 pounds because of it. I was bullied, and I learned how to be kind because of it. If I could turn back the clock and prevent those experiences, would I? No. Why? Because those experiences made me into the person who I am today. Isn't this similar to your lives? Without your experiences, would you be the same person that you are today? I assume not. There are so many things that I could say were, but this story is not meant to be about the past. This story was about me, but now it's about you. You have the power to change the world, to stop bullying. You have the power to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation and stop hate, even if you're the only person who's willing to do so. You have the power to be kind to others. Oh, and don't forget, your mother is always right.